But without further ado, we're going to kick it off today with the dope dad himself. That's right. Rico Lameet. When he is not out in the streets house hunting, you can find him gang banging with the internet cartel at his own crib right now. And that's why he's having to have to move. That's right. It is the dope dad himself, Rico Lameet. So my story today is coming from a uh, marijuana moment, and it is congressional bill punishing illegal marijuana grows aims to protect consumers from pesticides, sponsors say. So nothing brings Republicans and Democrats together like an opportunity to lay down a little prohibitionist law and order in an effort to fool the American people into believing they actually work while they're on the clock. A bipartisan duo of California congressional lawmakers have File, uh, refiled a bill to combat illicit cannabis grows on federal lands. A move they say is intended to protect consumer health, uh, consumers' health from banned pesticides used in unregulated cultivation. Democratic Representative Scott Peters reached around the aisle Friday to partner up and do a little tag team action with Doug LaMalfa, a man better known for posting prohibitions prohibitionist thirst trap videos on Facebook rather than doing a productive or having a productive voting record. Uh, he got together to announce uh, the aim of their bar bipartisan targeting and offsetting, offsetting, offsetting existing illegal contaminants or the toxic act is a uh, consumer safety and environmental protection. In a statement, Peter said no buyer should be unknowingly consuming marijuana contaminated by dangerous banned pesticides. That's why Congressman LaMalfa and I introduced the Toxic Act to go after these illegal cartel-linked grow operations on federal lands. The effects go well beyond the end user, endangering multiple species and, posing, and posing a threat to the forest service agents who are tasked with cleaning up these lands. For the article, a rare shared point of concern for industry advocates, stakeholders, and regulators is the broader concern about the environmental damage associated with illicit grows, where banned pesticides are sometimes used and can damage the ecosystem by polluting water and soil and poisoning wildfire, wildlife. Uh, but while advocates argue the carrot approach of creating regulated markets for adults and, pa uh, and patients with products subject to testing and other compliance policies as the solution, Peters and LaMalfa both prefer the stick. You guys might remember a throwback to LaMalfa back in July 2021, where he had the video of him and some um, Forest Service uh, members just bulldozing a bunch of illegal grows and him saying that nothing smells better in the morning like the, the as a diesel fuel exhaust. LaMalfa took a break from Bob the Builder cosplay last week to uh, tout the revisited legislation's consumer protection goals, saying it's meant to prevent exposure to banned pesticides endangering residents who inadvertently consume them. The act's first round of voting turned out to be a bit too toxic for adva uh, to advance last session, but the duo's optimistic the revamped two-tiered version will fare better. Or will fare better. Excuse me, I'm, chill, I'm dying today. Uh, the bill will provide up to $250 million in funding for the U.S. Forest Service over five years uh, to remediate areas where they say banned pesticides were used for illegal cannabis cultivation and also increased criminal penalties for people who have used these prohibited chemicals, charging offenders as they would smugglers with maximum penalties of up to $250,000 in fines and up to 20 years in prison. Historical data tied to ratcheting up these penalties has shown to do pretty much nothing as far as slowing down illegal drug trade activity in America. And a quick glance back at the 80s and 90s will show It'll, what it will do is deepen the pockets of more dangerous operators willing to corner a higher risk game market and separate families of loved ones for decades caught in the middle with not many life choices available beyond participating in low level positions to put food on their own tables. Sounds to me like a thinly veiled attempt to waste a quarter billion dollars of our hard earned tax money on a war on drugs part two rebranded. Nothing like a little toxic bipartisanship to whitewash the sins of yesterday, right? I'm Rico Lamid, the dopest dad on the street, and I'd like to hear from you guys on this. What do you think about this, Jason? Bipartisanship uh, crackdown on illegal growers.